Hey ladies, it's Marriage Monday again, and today I wanna to talk about something that I have struggled with very much and sometimes still do. I feel like, of course, marriage is hard because it shows you immediately how selfish you are, but man, things get even harder once children come along. She just continues to show you how selfish you are. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alana and my channel is all about marriage, homemaking, healthy living, and homeschooling. Please subscribe. I remember reading some parenting stuff when my children were a little younger and I started to notice that Hector and I spent time with them differently. I would always read or look at them straight in the eyes and talk to them or play games with them, do crafts with them. And I remember thinking, I don't like the way he's spending his time with them. And in my brain, I knew, of course, this is wonderful. This is their relationship with daddy. They have their relationship with me and they have their relationship with him. And that's always going to be that way. And that is beautiful and wonderful and that's right and good. But my emotions were not matching with my logical thought process. <laughs> my emotions were like, read a book to them, hello. I remember reading how we're wrong when we want our husbands to have the same kind of relationship with our children. And it was really just good for me to have that reminder of like, we are gonna have different relationships with our, ch with our children than our husbands are, and that's okay. That's totally okay. And it's only gonna continue, so might as well learn to deal with it, right? So now, it's still the case. We have totally different relationships with them. Things are very different when it's just me and the boys, and when it's, Hector and the boys or when it's all of us together than when it's just me and the boys. We just function different for one. I think we can say, we can all agree with that. You're gonna function different than your husband. You use your time with your children differently than when your husband's there. It's just the way it is. Uh, depending on how controlling you are, that's gonna be harder or not. I'm very controlling, so it's hard for me. And I have learned so much to just like relinquish, relinquish, relinquish because all it brings is conflict and tension. And I don't wanna be that mom in the corner upset because things aren't going my way. I remember being at a restaurant once um, and seeing this dad with his two sons next to him on a chair and um, they were looking at something on the phone. And I know how the mom felt annoyed because what are you doing on the phone? But I also noticed that she's like this in the corner angry and I'm like, I don't want to look like that. <laughs> so it was really good. It's like as an outsider looking in, my advice to her would have been, listen, I know that's annoying, but don't be that angry mom in the corner because you look the fool, not him for being on the phone. So join in. And man, I got to tell myself that often and sometimes I fail miserably and sometimes I do all right. But man, it's, it's very hard. If I think we should take showers, read a book and go to bed by nine and my husband is still chatting at 9.30 about guitars with the kids. I'm just like, what? <laughs> let's go to bed. But then at the same time, I'm like, Lord, in 10 years, am I gonna care that they were up till 9.30? In 10 years, what's gonna be more important to me that they were late to bed or that they had a special, wonderful time with daddy? I think that. And so it's really hard for a very structured, orderly person, controlling person, to just let go sometimes, you know? So it's a battle of mine. Maybe yours is a little less, maybe yours is more. I think that in the end, this is what we need to do. Trust God, respect our husbands, submit and follow their leadership, and close our mouths. Trust God, he is at work in our husband's hearts, and he may reveal things to him different times than you want them revealed to him, but he is faithful. Pray, trust the Lord, and just let the Lord work in, in their hearts. Something else with children and husbands and marriage and stuff is when they are correcting the children or disciplining the children or addressing the children, sometimes it is very hard not to interfere, not to interrupt. Uh, you're talking too harsh or your tone of voice, or you're, you're too loud, or whatever, you know? And man, it does more harm than good. It is better for us to stay quiet. Of course, I'm talking about normal, okay? I'm not talking about crossing the line where it's now abuse. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about normal correction, discipline, 
you want to interfere because you don't agree and you do the same thing <laughs> but since somebody else is doing it now hey, hey, hey wait a minute wait a minute i do the same thing and mess up the same ways and talk the same way or talk with the same tone of voice but then when he does it it's just not okay no <laughs> you need to be quiet and just trust the lord be on my side do not interfere do not show the children that you are against me we are a team it will do better for them in the long run to see that than to always see us interrupting, interrupting, interrupting. Our kids need to see us united. Things that are still working through and learning through in my marriage. So just a couple of things to touch on. Struggles that I think we all deal with and I think it's just a journey of growing through and learning through. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on these things and thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful Monday.